Hi, my name is Mike Dickinson, Product Specialist with Caterpillar, and today we'll have a chance to review some of the key new features of the next generation 568 Forest Machine. This new 568 replaces the previous 568 model introduced in 2011. Some of the key feature improvements of the next generation 568 include improved travel performance with over 14% more drawbar, improved swing torque with over 10% more swing torque performance, as well as a brand new forestry operator cab. The cab riser here is a four foot riser for the rear entry cab. We also have a six foot riser and a 22 inch riser for the side entry cab. The new riser that we're looking at today has a maintenance light added to it as well as a very clean interior design because with a new electrohydraulic control system creates a very clean layout within the cab riser by eliminating the need for any pilot lines. This has an additional benefit as well of not creating heat in the cab riser or running heat up into the cab by not having pilot lines coming into the control handles. The rear entry cab has widely improved visibility for the operator as well as ergonomic improvements. You can see here the front window as well as the left side window have large improvements in visibility to the orientation of the safety bars on the left. The instrument panel was previously located to the left of the operator and created some blind spots on the left hand side. In the next gen design, everything's controlled through the touchscreen monitor. This side window is opened up considerably and has much improved left visibility. And on the front window, we've gone with inch and a quarter or 32 millimeter polycarbonate. That adds benefits for visibility in terms of the backing bar requirements, as well as chain shot protection in the event of a processor configuration machine. Another benefit of the improved visibility comes from the recession of the right front corner guard. It moved back about two feet from the previous design, and that really opens up the right side view, as well as providing protection to the right front corner of the machine with the integrated right front corner post um, log deflector. The new door on the new rear entry cab on the 568 Next Gen has an improved design for a new door handle. This door design is improved for access and exit as well as for visibility through the rear. So we now have a full, full length rear panel polycarbonate for safety and improved visibility for the operator. There's also great new ergonomic features for operator comfort. This includes a new seat with new armrests, adjustability within the armrest as well as the seat and seat console. There's a heated and ventilated function to the seat. There's also EH control handles which provide less resistance to the operator and give good controllability, uh, much improved feedback and um, controllability for hydraulic functions. The touchscreen monitor is a 10 inch color touchscreen display, high resolution and both the rear and side cameras are both incorporated into that display. There's touchscreen soft keys on board to be able to easily access uh, frequently used functions. Other cab improvements include new cab storage behind the seat for the operator as well as in the seat back. And both left and right window are openable in the cab now for fresh air ventilation if needed. Other benefits of the 568 next generation design include reduced maintenance costs by 15%, and that's achieved by extended filter intervals. We have additionally the reduced pilot lines or elimination of pilot lines in the, in the hydraulic system. The fuel filters have gone from 500 hours to 1,000 hour interval, and the engine oil filter can be either 500 or 1,000 depending on the application. We also have the hydraulic oil return filter that's been extended out from 2,000 to 3,000 hours. Um, and again, the addition of the pilot filter and pilot lines all contribute to a reduction in overall maintenance cost over the life of the machine. Looking now at the electrical compartment, the new design has a well laid out fuse panel for easy access. We have a two stage radial air filter and the intake screens here are separated with an upper and lower section as well, making them easily removed in the, in the event of uh, cleaning out of any debris. We have four batteries as standard equipment and also the cab tilt control is located here for raising and lowering the cab. There's an emergency shutoff um, at ground level, easily accessed as well. Looking at the cooling package now, you can see large oversized coolers to give good heat rejection and keep the machine hydraulics and engine cool. And we have the two air conditioning condensers that improves the AC capacity of the machine substantially and keeps uh, the machine and cab cool in warm temperatures. The emergency lockout switch here, access from ground level, 
And there's also an indicator light here next to the master switch or night switch, alerting the operator to when the deaf lines are purging, just to make sure that it's shut down safely and there's no deaf in the deaf lines during the shutdown. And we also have ground level visibility to the engine coolant to see the fluid level. The hydraulic system on the 568 Next Generation utilizes the new electrohydraulic control system with an electroproportional pump and electrohydraulic control valve. The back-to-back -back pump has a more efficient design for hydraulic oil flow and also contributes to improved fuel efficiency. This is also a very adjustable pump and flow for the operator in order to fine-tune settings uh, for controllability. You have easy access for your engine oil filter, fuel filters. You also have quick drain for safe and uh, effective and quick removal of engine and hydraulic oil, as well as refilling. So these ports here, your yellow for your engine oil, orange for hydraulic oil, you can do that from ground level, drain and refill uh, your fluids. You also have good access for SOS ports for scheduled oil sampling. That can be accessed easily here as well. The auxiliary pump on the 568 log loader is an 85cc pump. It'll deliver over 30 gallons a minute of hydraulic flow. This allows a wide variety of attachments to be used, whether it's a heel and grapple or a power clamp grapple like we have on the machine here today, or on the road builder configurations, this optional rotate pump can be added to utilize power clamp grapple in addition to bucket thumb and other road building attachments. Another improvement on the 568 Next Generation is the flat engine hood design. This reduces debris buildup as well as reduces the susceptibility for impact or potential for damage from uh, debris or, or impact from objects. It's easy to open, has a strut, strut assist. This provides good access to the C9.3B CAT engine. This is a tier four final engine and has a emissions package which is matched up for seamless automation uh, of the emissions control so no interaction with the operator is required. This is an automatic regeneration system. The engine oil check and engine oil fill are easily accessed at the engine for daily maintenance as well as the coolant level check which is very easy to access. The cooling fan is a hydraulically driven cooling fan for the cores and that provides a reversing function as well to keep the cooling cores clean and also uh, keep the machine running cool and uh, the engine and hydraulics at uh, cool temperatures. The 568 uses a dual swing drive system to deliver outstanding swing performance. And this is now both on the log loader or shovel logging and hoe chucking machine as well as the road building machine. So we've gone with dual swing drives here, 349 swing system. And we also have the main control valve, which is an electrohydraulic valve um, for great hydraulic performance and controllability. Starting with the travel performance, we've increased the travel by 14% on this machine in terms of travel power. Very good performance for getting around in tough conditions and steep grades. With that, the sprocket has gone to a 24 bolt sprocket from a 20 bolt previously. We've also updated and matched the recoil spring to match that improved travel performance. So the recoil spring has a stiffer uh, spring tension to it to improve the recoil capability on the undercarriage. Additionally, on the tracks, we've gone to a 53 section track. So we have four inches more track on the ground with the machine. That also provides additional stability. The track links themselves are 349 HDXL track links with positive pin retention. That prevents pin walking. The 568 Next Generation Forest Machine uses a 10 roller bottom for great stability as well as has multiple track options, including 20 inch single grousers like you see here, 20 inch double grouser or 33 inch triple grouser, widely used in milliard applications. The machine's 11 foot 11 with 28 inch pads in terms of machine width and has 30 inches of ground clearance. Other key changes on the machine in terms of the undercarriage are the travel performance. Having that higher drawbar is critical. So we have high drawbar final drives with 14% more travel performance compared to the previous model. We have full length track guiding guards as well throughout both sides of the machine. We also have final drive covers with recessed bolts for protection and uh, eliminating hangups on any uh, stumps or obstacles. The new catwalk design has been improved for safety with a wider stance as well as improved anti-slip design. The tread plate has recessed bolts, so it can be removed for cleaning when needed. And there's also a heavy serrated edge incorporated into the edge of the catwalk which gives good grip for boots and reduces the risk of slips or falls in slippery conditions or frozen conditions. 
Grab handles are located to provide three points of contact and safe access throughout the fueling and full length catwalks to the rear of the machine. Thank you for taking the time today to learn about the new next generation 568 Cat Forest machine. If you have any additional questions, please contact your local cat dealer. We'd love to hear from you.